Hi, this is Sybil. Welcome to day four of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. I'm super excited that I get to be day four, but especially because the word for today is relationships. From our version plan that we're all going through, um, I've chosen the verse from Ecclesiastes chapter four, verse 12. A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three are even better, for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. Ecclesiastes 4.12 I love the word imagery that comes from this verse. How cool is it to think of us standing back to back with somebody, conquering the world, conquering sin, conquering it all. Um, the devotional talked about Moses and Aaron and how God specifically called Moses to something, but how he felt completely inadequate to do the job. So God then brought Aaron alongside and the two of them together changed history, biblical history, history together. And I think in my own personal life, I'm quite the independent person. Before I was married, I was even way worse independent than I am now. But God has slowly humbled me and shown me how important it is to invite people into our lives to do life with us. Now, that isn't easy at all. It's not easy for me at all. But how important it is when you are down or when you can't face something to invite people alongside to pray for you. When you can't pray, you then have somebody to pray for you. In Moses' case, when he couldn't speak, he had somebody to speak for him. I love that. It says when we are weak, God is strong. And sometimes God shows up through people and through relationships. I really challenge you as we are doing this 21 days of prayer and fasting. And as you're fasting and as you're praying, pray about what relationships you are supposed to be in this year. Pray about new relationships starting. Pray about the relationships you have. Invite God into those relationships to show you how you can rely on those relationships a little bit more, and how you can be a better friend. All right, guys, praying for you. Have a great day.